Hey everybody, so today is um, March 13th and I tried to do a Facebook Live but apparently Facebook is not connecting for anyone <laughs> that I've contacted. So I thought I would do the video anyway and I will share it um, because it's now 3, or not 3, it's now 12.09 and we would only have 10 minutes. So here we go. Um, all right, so today in the Shape It Up video, I will be talking about the difference between losing weight and losing body fat. I am also going to give you three tips to help you get started on feeling more comfortable in your own skin. So make sure you hang out at the end for those. So if you've never met me before, hi, my name is Nicole Simonin. I am a personal trainer with a background in physical therapy, and I was also a professional ballet dancer many, many moons ago. Um, and I, with my company, Shape It Up Fitness, I help women over 40 get fit and feel more comfortable in their own skin. You can learn more about Shape It Up by going to shapeitupfitness.com. So thank you so much for watching. Um, before we dive into the topic today, if you'd like, you can put any questions in the comment section below. I will answer every single one of them. So go ahead and put your comments in the section below. So let's get into today's topic. Uh, we are again, we are talking about losing weight versus losing body fat. And I will be giving you three tips at the end of the video to help you start feeling more comfortable in your own skin. So when I start working with clients, I always ask this question, what would you like to see when all is said and done? Typically the first words that are out of their mouths are, I want to weigh, insert scale amount on the scale. So they usually say, I want to weigh 150 pounds. I want to weigh 120 pounds. And my response usually is, if your goal is 150 pounds, what if you get to 160 and you love the way you look and feel? Would you still want to see 150? Isn't the bottom line how you feel and less about the scale? It really doesn't matter what you weigh on the scale, am I right? So what does it mean to lose weight? When we say lose weight, we are talking about scale weight. So this phrase is usually tossed around in most fitness programs, and I think it's because everyone can relate to it. Pretty much every woman born after 1960 knows exactly what her ideal scale number is. Am I right? <laughs> but if I said to you, would you like to be 18% or 25% body fat? You would be like, um, I don't even know what that would look like. So most people can relate to scale weight versus body fat. So losing weight means losing scale weight. Now let's talk about the scale. The scale is simply the gravitational pull of your body on a piece of plastic with some measurements in there, right? That is it. It has nothing to do with your self-worth your self-worth is not tied into that scale. That number is not making you a horrible person. You are not a horrible human being if that number is not what you want to see. It is just a number. That number is neutral. It's really the thoughts that you have around that number which is the problem for you. But we'll dive into that more in a future video. So do we really need a scale to tell us if we're overweight? Unless you have dysmorphia, which is where you don't exactly see you as you really are in a mirror or your self-perception, um, you don't really need a scale to tell you that you're overweight. It really doesn't matter if you're 5 pounds or 100 pounds overweight. If you are not comfortable in your own skin, you have a weight problem. Losing scale weight is not exactly ideal for the long term, and I will explain that more in a little bit. So what does it mean to lose body fat? So your body is made up of, your body composition is made up of bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments, water, tissue, organs, and body fat. You need to have body fat in order to be healthy. Muscle is not the same thing as body fat. A lot of people are very confused. Muscle does not change into body fat and body fat does not change into muscle. They are two separate things entirely. Um, so you do need to have some body fat on you to be healthy. And a little later on, you're gonna find out why you wanna lose body fat and not just scale weight. The typical way to lose scale weight is to drop your calories and do tons of cardio. 
If you grew up in the 70s and the 80s, this is probably your default mode. Um, if we were to take two women, exact same body structure, and we put one woman on a weight loss program and the other woman on a body fat loss program, they will both coming out of each program looking entirely different. So if you were to take those two ladies and they can start out at the same weight, but when they're done, the woman who was on the weight loss only program, um, she might see a big change in the scale, but she is just going to be a smaller version of what she was when she was heavier. So if she was a pear-shaped woman, so small torso and wider in the hips, she will still be small on top and wide hips on the bottom, but she's just going to be a little bit smaller than what she was when she had all those pounds. She will likely have no muscle tone and she will have no definition in her arms. Like everybody wants that kind of lean look. Well, not everybody, but most people, when I train them, they want their arms cut. Um, so she's, she's not going to have that if you just do a weight loss program. Um, doing a weight loss program, this is where your metabolism is going to, it's going to tank and you can only so, you can only cut so many calories and you can only do so much cardio, right? We only have so many hours in the day. If you're doing more than an hour of cardio per day, you're doing way too much. Uh, unless you're training for a marathon or a triathlon, you do not need to do more than an hour and that's pushing it. Like I do, I do 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if that. Um, so you will stall at some point if you're on a weight loss program. The other factors are injuries are really highly likely along with illnesses. Why? Because of all the wearing out of the joints you're doing, you're putting a lot of stress on your body through all the cardio. And also you are usually in a huge calorie deficit and chances are you're going to be sick quite often. Um, not to mention the psychological effect that we have um, when we are on a weight loss program. It's that whole horrible dieters mentality, um, you know, like starvation and oh, I have to barter because I ate a piece of cake. Now I have to be on the cardio, you know, the treadmill for six hours. It's not a healthy place to live. So going back to the scenario where we take the two women, if the other woman who is on a body fat loss program, she may actually go up in the scale depending on where she starts. But she will be smaller in inches because muscle takes up less space than body fat. And she will look lean and toned. And she will be doing a lot less cardio and she will be eating a ton more food. Now here's why losing body fat is key. So I just mentioned it. You need to gain muscle. Ladies, do you hear me out there? <laughs> you need to ditch those little tiny three-pound dumbbells. Those small dumbbells are not going to get you the results that you're looking for. Um, you also need to be in a very small calorie deficit. And there are times when you're trying to gain muscle, you actually need to be in an, a surplus of calories. So it really depends on where you're currently at and what exactly your goals are. You also don't need to do a ton of cardio. I just mentioned I only do like 20 minutes and it's probably maybe three times a week. And that's more for cardiovascular health rather than burning fat. Again, depending on what mode I am in, um, you know, my cardio varies. So, but it's never more than an hour. Never. I don't even think it's that long. It's like 45 minutes tops. Anyway, so... Um, so the scale number might go up if you're on a body fat loss program, depending where you currently are. Now here's the kicker. It takes way, way longer to add muscle than it does to go on a weight loss program. So typically programs are 12 weeks and you're in fabulous shape. And then what happens after 12 weeks, you fall apart, right? So with a um, body fat loss program, usually it's a lot longer than 12 weeks. It may take a year. It might take three to five years. This is why most women give up on this because it's very slow progress uh, and it, it takes patience. Um, everybody wants a quick fix and they want it yesterday and nothing worth having comes easy. And I think we all know that. <laughs> 
So the benefits of losing body fat as opposed to losing scale weight is you're going to be building muscle. So you want to build muscle. I promise you, you are not going to bulk up and look, you know, like a man. Uh, it is very, very, very hard. You have to be very specific and very detailed to get to that manly, you know, bodybuilding look. Um, genetically speaking, women, we are really not genetically meant to look like that. So depends on your genetics, um, whether you're a mesomorph, and it also depends on, you know, what else you're taking um, to get that look. So I promise you, if you start lifting heavier weights, you are not going to bulk up. Um, the other benefits of losing body fat is versus just scale weight is it may prevent osteoporosis. As we get older, you know, we need to keep those bones nice and strong. Do you have a family member, probably your mom or grandma who fell and broke her hip and then, you know, put them in an awkward position. So we want to stay healthy and strong. Uh, you'll also be more likely to be more active as you get older because the more muscle you have, the more things you'll be able to do. Um, you will probably not need someone to come and open your jars when you're 90 years old, right? Because hopefully you'll have the strength to do that. You will be stronger. Your joints will actually be happier because there's less pounding from cardio. And make sure you listen. I said this earlier, but I just want to kind of really dig into this one because you're going to love hearing this, ladies. <laughs> when you add more muscle, you get to eat more food, and that's awesome. <laughs> there's no more starvation. There's no more, you know, uh, dieters mentality. So because muscle is very metabolic, you're just going to burn calories sitting here doing nothing. So like right now, I'm burning calories because I have some muscle on me. It's so easy. It's wonderful. <laughs> So if you are eating very little and you're doing tons of cardio and you probably feel very miserable, nothing is really going to change. You need to switch gears into a body fat loss program. So here are the three tips to get you started. So number one, before you step on your scale tomorrow morning, you know, after you've gone to the bathroom and you're in your birthday suit, I, I get it. Before you step on, ask yourself how you're going to feel about that number when it comes up on the scale. Are you going to accept that it is just a number and that maybe you need some help with your current body fat loss program? Or are you going to want to curl up in the fetal position and berate yourself all day long? Because the choice is always yours. If you are currently working out, this is number two. If you are currently working out, increase your dumbbell weight so you are using... So if you were using a three pound dumbbell, I want you to try and lift a five pound dumbbell. Now, please make sure that you are lifting with proper form. Form is so, 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 so important. Um, you can check out my exercise library over on the YouTube channel. On YouTube, it's the Shape It Up uh, channel. Just search Shape It Up and look for orange thumbnail pictures and it'll take you to my site and then you can see in the playlist, um, there's a list of exercises that you can check out. Um, number three, you really need to ditch the dieters mentality and focus on this being a lifelong journey. It's not a 12 week program. You know, how has that served you so far? If you've done any 12 week programs, they don't serve you well because by the end of the 12 weeks, you usually fall back into your old habits. It's got to be a lifestyle. It's got to be a lifelong journey. If you need help putting together a program, um, I'm going to leave a link in the comments below and you can request a chat with me. There's no pressure. We'll just sit and chat about what your goals are and um, we can discuss that on, the, on a quick phone call. All right. So that is all for me today. I am sorry about the Facebook Live. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but... Here's the video anyway, and um, I would like you to invite you to join me next week on Wednesday at noon Eastern time when we talk about what do you really want? Because you say you want to lose weight, but how come you haven't? So we'll see that. I will talk about that next week. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I'll see you next week. Take care.